It's Manchester United against Tottenham. Our commentator, Brian Moore. Donachie to Milne. That's out there to Bergson. Mabbott planting it forward again. In goes Donati very quickly indeed. And one for Milne to chase. But Fennick was there. Hughes picking it up though for Manchester United. Plenty of red shirts are coming up to support him. Here's Robson now leading the charge. And saved by the keeper. Pushing it over. Hughes has gone down injured. A great break by Manchester United. And so typical that it should be Brian Robson who was there where he was really needed on that break from the midfield. Hughes plays it in. And Robson's shot is pushed up in the air by the keeper who must have been relieved to see that just clear the crossbar. Gascoigne, plenty of height but not much distance. And again Gascoigne. Blackmore after him, but he shrugged him off, but only Paul Stewart is up. Well, things have certainly begun to look a lot brighter for Alec Ferguson over the last six weeks or so. But now Stewart. Straight at Leighton. Little test there for the Manchester United goalkeeper who's had real problems all week with this recurring uh, back trouble. Robson. Sharp again. That's more United are making advances down that left flank. A dummy by Robson trying to get it back from McClare. Clayton Blackmore trying to keep it going. Robson's come back into an onside position and flicked over by the keeper from Clayton Blackmore. He's had little enough to do, of course, but in the first half. And hit from a long way out. The keeper had a good side of it. Mabbott Hughes it's Mabbott who uh, made the challenge and a good bit of play now by Waddle David Howes on one side Paul Stewart on the other for Tottenham but that may have taken the sting out of the attack indeed Stewart couldn't keep it in play The first part of that action was superb by Waddle, but the pass in no way matched up to it. And United get a throw. Ten minutes of the second half gone, we await the first goal still. Another throw. Robson. Played in again for Strachan. Played for McClare. No other red shirt around him. But Berkson's clearance only reaches Strachan. There's Waddle coming back to do some work. Still United, though, as Milne finds uh, Lee Sharp. And now Blackmore. Sharp again to Blackmore. In comes Gascoigne. And now Bergson to Allen. Paul Gascoigne for Tottenham, curling the ball in towards Howe. Cut out by Robson. Trying to set Lee Martin away on the right. Good ball by Robson. Strachan. Hughes onside. Clever bit of play. He looked as though he was going to be offside. Quickly darted before the ball was played. And also good work by Mabbott. The game's picking up a little bit now. Strachan for Manchester United. Hughes again to Strachan. Can he get a cross in? McClure! saying that the game had livened up a bit it certainly has for Manchester United Bill Strachan's part was big the finish came from Brian McClare he scored against them last season in both games he scored against them at White Hart Lane and there's Strachan with a turn and McClare keeps that record going by scoring here now at Old Trafford 1-0 to Manchester United McClare again. Strachan to McClare again. And Fennick there putting it behind for the United corner. 
And quite rightly, there's praise being heaped upon uh, Mark Hughes and Brian Robson this season for United, but McClare has been terrific as well. Just see this corner taken with Strachan, and I get a view from Ron Atkinson on that one. Robson up there for that. Abbott getting it away, Milne returning it, goes it, Ron? Yes, I think you saw that a little bit of... He was fortunate with his final ball, Gordon Strachan, but I, you saw him operate where he's at his best, coming in on the corner of the penalty area. Mark Hughes, as you say, did exceptionally well to just hold out and play a little one-two with him. Strack was a little bit fortunate, to, as I say, with the ball, and this was good, attacking the fullback. He can't tackle him there for fear of the penalties. Good little layoff. Swivels it across, and then you see McClare do what natural strikers do. He attacks the box. Twelfth goal of the season for Brian McClare, 25 years old. He goes off with uh, Scotland to Cyprus after this game for their World Cup match on Wednesday. As indeed does Jim Layton. Free kick to Tottenham, Terry Fennick with it. Cutters has gone right into the Man United penalty area for this. Pushed a lot forward. Cutters didn't uh, get to that one. Gascoigne trying to play it through towards Stewart. Paul Allen again for Tottenham. Stewart. Oh, a missed kick there by Donaghy. Oh, a tremendous save by Leighton from Howells. He caught that beautifully after a really uncharacteristic mistake by Mal Donaghy. And the closest Spurs have been. There's Donaghy's mistake. There's Howells' volley. And a fine piece of goalkeeping by Jim Leighton. The man with the bad back. Waddle to the corner. And McClare it was who got it away. Gascoigne. Trying to turn it on now, Waddle. And again, Leighton's there. Difficult one to gather because Bruce didn't make it easy for him, his teammate. Good handling there by the uh, Scottish international from Aberdeen. Bruce. Blackmore. Butters. Strachan. Foul on Strachan. And Gascoigne. Stewart now. There's a chance there. And when Stewart's in that sort of position, that usually means the most awful danger for the opposition. He loves a run like that and will be a little upset that his finishing wasn't better. It's more. Packing it away. Now McClare. Hughes is up alongside him. The white shirts are streaming back. Trying to find Hughes. And Blackmore had also made a good run. No trouble there for Tottenham. Robson. Blackmore. Oh, and have a shot. It's going to go all the way. see what happens while he's waiting the free kick's taken and the goal is ruled out could only have been an offside and now here comes Spurs oh, what a turnaround this could be then Roddle I thought he'd waved the advantage. I thought it was a foul on, on uh, Mark Hughes. Uh, there could have been a United player standing yeah, in an offside position on the far side. Possibly was offside, but uh, I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper's been out of prison again, hasn't he? Now Mavitz. 
Fennec laying it forward with the last four minutes of the game. Stewart! Oh, my goodness, that was close. Spurs so close to snatching a point there. For me, he showed a lot of character today, Brian. Um, he's taken his flak. He's worked very hard for them today. I mean, he's taken a little bit of criticism, I believe, from people in the press and so forth. Um, but today, he certainly hasn't ducked out of anything. And he's, you know, until now, he's just been partnered with Walsh, but he's ploughed pretty much a long furrow up there. And uh, it's been a shade unlucky on two or three occasions now. And as you say, he's uh, never one to hide, is he? He's, uh, even if things don't go quite right for him, He's always there looking for the next chance. Gascoigne keeping possession. Fennec playing it towards Mitchell Thomas. And now Wobble. Mitchell Thomas. Is this a chance for Tottenham? The cross is a good one! And that time Stewart was there, but the header was wide. Yeah, I'd be disappointed with that, Brian. Perfect piece of play between Waddle and Thomas. And first time really Spurs have had anyone attack the front post and uh, I think you'll feel he should have been on target possibly should have scored with it great cross here by Mitchell Thomas set up for the striker five victories on the run for United their lift off continues the Spurs one win only now in their last five games and trouble at the wrong end of the first division is beginning to creep up on them now Donaghy the man of the match Bayern McClare, the match winner in terms of the scorer. Manchester United 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0.